In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the equation of a line that's parallel to a given line through a given point. So I'm going to go through two different methods that you can use. We're going to go through two examples. I'll show you one method using the first example and the other method using the second example. So for this first one, we're given the line 5x minus 2y equals 10. We want to find a line that's parallel to this line, but it goes through this point 4 comma 3. So the first option is to rearrange the equation into the slope intercept form. That's the y equals mx plus b form. So what we want to do is we want to get this y by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. Then I just want one y, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2, everything by negative 2. And if we do that, you can see we get y by itself. We have y equals positive 5 halves, because the two negatives cancel, minus 5. Now, remember, when lines are parallel, they don't cross, right? And that's because they're going up at the same rate, at the same angle, which means that they have the same slope. And when you look at your slope-intercept form here, this number that comes right in front of the x, that's your slope. So in this case, 5 halves is our slope. So we want to write a new line in slope-intercept form that has the same slope but goes through this point 4, 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to say y has to equal 5 halves x plus b. Now I'm going to take this point, notice this is x comma y, I'm going to put 3 in for y and I'm going to put 4 in for x. Now remember 4 is like 4 over 1, anything divided by 1 is itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve for the new b, the new y-intercept. So let's go ahead and multiply these together. This is going to give us 20 divided by 2, which is 10. So we have 3 equals 10 plus b. We're going to subtract 10 from both sides to get b by itself. And so you can see that b is coming out to negative 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this negative 7, we're going to put it in place of b right here, and that's going to be our equation. So y equals 5 halves x minus 7. And you got it. Okay, for example number 2, let's go ahead and rearrange this equation into the slope-intercept form so we can identify the slope, the m value. And then we're going to talk about the other method of writing the equation of the line parallel through this point. So first step, we want to get the y by itself. So we're going to move the 3x to the other side by subtracting 3x. This way this cancels out here, and we have 7y equals negative 3x plus 21. Now we just want to solve for 1y, so let's go ahead and divide everything by 7, left and right sides to keep the equation balanced, and that's going to give us y equals negative 3 sevenths x plus 3. Now what we're mainly interested in here is the slope, because if the lines are parallel, they're going up at the same rate, they don't cross, they have the same slope. But this time, what we're going to do is let's use the point-slope form of the equation of a line to start off with. So x1, y1 is the point that the line goes through, m is the slope. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, we've got y minus the y-coordinate of the point that it goes through equals the slope, which is negative 3 sevenths times x minus the x-coordinate of the point that the line goes through. So we've got our equation, but let's take it one step further and put it into the slope-intercept form by solving for y. So what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this negative 3 sevenths into the parentheses. Remember, anything can be written as a fraction by putting it over 1. Sometimes this helps uh, students just so you can line up the numerators and the denominators. You multiply the tops together and the bottoms together. So if we do that, we get y minus 5 equals negative 3 sevenths x. And then here you can see we're going to get negative 3 times negative 14, which is positive 42, divided by 7 times 1, which is 7. So 42 divided by 7 gives us positive 6. And then we're going to add 5 to both sides to get y by itself. And you can see we're getting y equals negative 3 sevenths x plus 11. And that's the equation of your line that's parallel to this original line, but it goes through that particular point. If you want to see another video where I talk about the same type of idea, but instead of parallel, we're finding the line that's perpendicular, like at a right angle, 
follow me over to that video right there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you in that video.